We're going camping. Woohoo! Got up on shore looking for a spot. Set up the tent. There's a lot of deer activity. Some uh, deer poop right here. Little pellets. Deer tracks. All right, let's look around. Here's a spot where the deer rested. Lots of deer tracks. See where all that snow's melted under the spruce trees. The deer would have slept right there. This is our spot. I'm starting to clear it out with the shovel, take some snow out. We got a nice fire going to warm off if we're cold. And then we got all our gear to set up the tent, the wood stove and everything. And uh, gather some firewood for the night. So lots of work to do. See you guys later. Hey everyone, it's uh, 6 o'clock now. We got a legit long fire going on. We just thrown some uh, big logs on the fire. Get some clothes going. We got the tent set up. I had to heat up the camera inside the tent for a bit. It's pretty cold. Let's go see how the thermometer is. We're just preparing to... Uh, set up some beds two logs and then spruce boughs so our gear I bought a bigger thermometer easier to film we're at minus 31 or 32 31 minus 25 Fahrenheit so, it's almost a full moon tonight. Let's see if I can film it. Yeah, that's the moon up there. Try to zoom it and take a few pictures. Yeah, let's do some, uh, some beds now. Okay, so I'm, you can see I'm making a spruce bow bed and uh, I'm just using the smaller branches so that I don't have the bigger stuff in my back. It's not really necessary right now because we do have like our camping mats but at minus 30 tonight we'll be happy to have that extra layer of air or isolation beneath us and plus it smells really good. I don't know if you can hear but so cold the branches just break just crack like if they were really dry like just that so I'm going going down just like if I was thatching a, a roof or something I pick a handful and have them all facing the same way and plant it side like that and then keep doing that put one here here keep doing that and going down and after I'll test it ah. and add some more bows where there's gaps but it's not too bad
uh, starting to cut a little bit of wood for the, the wood stove for tonight. We have a nice bed of coals here, so we'll be cooking our steaks soon. And then after that, we'll do the rest of the supper inside. The, uh, So for the steaks, I uh, forgot the grill, so we're gonna go caveman style. I got a nice bed of coals there. I'm gonna throw the steaks directly in there. I like to do my steaks caveman style every now and then. It tastes great, like it tastes doesn't taste smoky at all and the ashes that stick on it like there's not that much ashes really that stick on them you just blow a little bit to Get it warm. When you turn on the light, it really looks like it's ashes, but it's actually really, really hot coals. It's hard to film at night. Steaks were awesome. I'm just throwing out the plates, split log plates. There we go, dishes are done. And let's go see what the weather is. Looks like minus 30. Three. Yeah, we're finally gonna test this uh, Athic Kangik tent out in the cold. Real cold weather winter camp. Right, we got all this pile of wood to cut up and then after that we're going in the tent for the evening. 7.55, we're at minus 33, almost minus 34. Pretty chilly. Go inside, got lots of wood cut up. Smells like spruce boughs. Okay, we just finished putting our mats in. It's gotta be close to nine o'clock. We always try to take our sleeping bags out of the compression bags in advance, like a few hours before going to bed so that the, the, the down can have the time to fluff up a little bit and absorb some air.
see how it's gonna look like grow. corner for now. <laughs> pad thai, or legume arashid. Vegetable and peanut pad thai. Happy Yak Express. These are made in Quebec. We're gonna try these. Got some peanut butter in there to add. Yeah, it smells good. Be a good addition to the steak. Looks like there's lots of noodles in there and stuff. I'll pour mine in my cup. I just made a couple little chopsticks, spruce bow chopsticks. Hey, we looks good. Added a little bit of squirrel bait. It's pretty dark out. We're just grabbing some water from the lake for uh, the rest of the stay. Got the two teapots and wish pot and the two liter jug. We don't know if the Morris bush pot. It should go in nine inch. Perfect. Grab some water, take a few pictures of the moon, and then back in the tent. We could melt some snow, but it's quicker and a lot easier to just have some actual water. Okay. Good to go.
minus 34, almost 35. Do, do a quick tour of the setup at night and then we're gonna cut some wood and be in the tent for the rest of the night. Fire here is long fire is pretty much out. All right, let's cut some wood. Yeah? Just, just do more Cat? Just a more than fine point. Yeah. Yeah, Kella, hello. It's a It's a ten o'clock. Our first teapot. Water just boiled. We got candles going. We got lots of firewood for the night. It's 11:30 already. We have lots of coals. The stove's giving out good heat. Just gonna put the water here in the thermoses and go to bed. See you guys in the morning. Morning everyone, it's 8.35, we're at minus 36, it's pretty cold. I am taking a quick leak, then going back in the tent. Get some coffee going and some oatmeal. Look at this sunrise. It's our sleigh tracks from yesterday. Nice big lake. Our hole for the water. All right, I'm going back in the tent. It's freaking cold. <laughs> Pathway going up the hill. And then the tent is right here. It's not too far. She's so cool, she's so cool. Oh, look at See, usually it lit. There's a ton of frost on the tree.
Café. Et Oui. Ouais, quoi, je vise pas mal au centre. Oui, oui, c'est bon. You can see it, but I have nice blue flames in the coals. That means it's really hot. The stove's really effective. It's minus 35, 36 outside, and we're really comfortable. nice sunny day there's lots of frost in the the trees we're just starting to pack up get ready to leave just finished rolling the the mats and the sleeping bag and stuff Ah, c'est pas chaud, hein? Twelve o'clock, we're at minus 26. Slowly warming up with the sun. Just finished 
rolling our tent. Pretty much ready to put our main fire out. My uh, my bed and then clothes bed. We like to keep a little fire going just so we can warm up our our hands and feed if if we're cold and then we put it out really at the last second. Took the coals out of the, the stove. We're just letting the the bricks and the ashes cool down and then try to empty it as much as possible. Put the chimney in there. Have some three inch uh, nomadic woodsman patches available. So let me know if, uh, in the comments if you're interested in getting a patch. And uh, I'll uh, order some more and then have them available for people to buy. I have a limited quantity right now, but if I see lots of people interested, I'll make some more. Another couple of bags. Well folks, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, make sure you guys like or dislike if you dislike. And uh, yeah, have a good one. I would have liked to film a little bit more, but the camera froze yesterday when we were setting up. Um, it's pretty cold. The equipment worked really good. We didn't break anything. And uh, yeah, it's nice to know that we're able to get out at cold temperatures like that and uh, be safe and uh, put your fires out and uh, brush your teeth and uh, have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.